That pad and uh, attempt a second try. Second, launch, second try at launch today. It'll take a few minutes for the astronaut van to uh, get to the pad. The astronauts are driven through the exclusion zone around the launch pad. It is enforced because if a shuttle explodes before liftoff, it would do so with the force of a small atomic bomb. In the meantime, the ice As the astronauts to, prepare uh, to board, to Commander to Dick Scobie has a present for the closeout crew. It's a and bolt wrapped in red ribbon, a playful dig at the problems the of yesterday. Around the launch pad, ground crew are still clearing ice. Remote cameras clearly show the scale of the problem. As Krista McAuliffe prepares to board, the technicians present her with a delicious big polished apple for the teacher. She hands it back saying, Save it for me. I'll eat it when I get back. Krista's parents, Grace and Ed Corrigan, are also at the Cape to witness the launch. We're getting a little bit of trepidation as we're getting closer and closer. Excitement is also building at Concord High School, where Krista's pupils wait to see their teacher become the first civilian in space. The launch countdown clock is at T-minus nine minutes and holding. The weather at the launch site is clear but cold. Jay Green is the mission control in Houston for this launch. He now pulls his 11-strong team and each says, go for launch. The T-9 countdown begins. This is the walkway used by the astronauts to climb in the vehicle. And that arm can be put back in place within about 15 to 20 seconds if an emergency should arise. Liquid oxygen knowledge pressure checks are underway. At T-minus 10 seconds, water jets are turned on to deaden the sound of the launch. Igniters light the frozen gases from the engines. The sudden force rocks the shuttle forward on the pad. As it returns to upright, the shuttle is released. And lift off. During each second of its ascent, the space shuttle burns 10 tons of frozen gases in solid fuel. At 19,000 feet, Challenger passes Mach 1. The three main engines are throttled back to 65% in anticipation of the stress that engineers call max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. When the shuttle reaches 50,000 feet, the engines are powered back up to full thrust. Seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Flight controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. We have a report from the... 30 seconds after the explosion, exploded. the solid rocket boosters are destroyed by remote control. Just in effect. 
In the moment after the crash, Air Sea Rescue Services are scrambled to look for survivors, but there are none. Tonight, President Reagan will suspend the State of the Union address and instead pay tribute to the seven astronauts. Following the stunned silence that accompanies the knowledge that something had gone very wrong, people begin to ask themselves, why? <laughs> 